gather together to recall the mystery of our redemption. Though sin drew us away from God, He never stopped loving us. The prophets told of the coming of a Messiah, who would initiate a reign of justice and peace. This promise was fulfilled in the incarnation of Jesus Christ. Let us now reflect with joy on this wondrous mystery. A reading from the book of Genesis. When the man and his wife heard the sound of the Lord God walking about in the garden at the breezy time of the day, they hid themselves from the Lord God among the trees of the garden. The Lord God then called to the man and asked him, Where are you? He answered, I heard you in the garden, but I was afraid because I was naked, so I hid. Then God asked, Who told you that you were naked? Have you eaten from the tree of which I had forbidden you to eat? The man replied, The woman whom you put here with me, she gave me fruit from the tree, so I ate it. The Lord God then asked the woman, What is this you have done? The woman answered, The snake tricked me, so I ate it. Then the Lord God said to the snake, Because you have done this, cursed are you among all the animals, tame or wild. On your belly you shall crawl, and dust you shall eat all the days of your life. I will put enmity between you and the woman, and between your offspring and hers. They will strike at your head, while you strike at their heel. The Lord God made for the man and his wife garments of skin, with which he clothed them. Then the Lord God said, See, the man has become like one of us, knowing good and evil. Now what if he also reaches out his hand to take fruit from the tree of life, and eats of it and lives forever? The Lord God therefore banished him from the Garden of Eden to till the ground from which he had been taken. He expelled the man, stationing the cherubim and the fiery revolving sword east of the Garden of Eden to guard the way to the Tree of Life.
A second time, the angel of the Lord called Abraham from heaven and said, I swear by my very self, oracle of the Lord, that because you acted as you did in not withholding from me your son, your only one, I will bless you and make your descendants as countless as the stars of the sky and the sands of the seashore. Your descendants will take possession of the gates of their enemies. And in your descendants, all the nations of the earth will find blessing, because you obeyed my command. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. A shoot shall sprout from the stump of Jesse, and from his roots a bud shall blossom. The spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him, a spirit of wisdom and of understanding, a spirit of counsel and of strength, a spirit of knowledge and of fear of the Lord, and his delight shall be the fear of the Lord. Not by appearance shall he judge, nor by hearsay shall he decide, but he shall judge the poor with justice and decide fairly for the lands afflicted. He shall strike the ruthless with the rod of his mouth, and with the breath of his lips he shall slay the wicked. Justice shall be the band around his waist, and faithfulness a belt upon his hips. Then the wolf shall be a guest of the lamb, and the leopard shall lie down with the young goat. The calf and the young lion shall browse together with a little child to guide them. The cow and the bear shall graze, together their young shall lie down. The lion shall eat hay like the ox. The baby shall play by the viper's den, and the child lay his hand on the adder's lair. They shall not harm or destroy on all my holy mountain, for the earth shall be filled with knowledge of the Lord as water covers the sea.
reading from the book of the prophet Micah. But you, Bethlehem, Ephrathah, least among the clans of Judah, from you shall come forth from me one who is to be ruler in Israel, whose origin is from old, old, from ancient times. Therefore the Lord will give them up until the time when she who is to give birth has born. Then the rest of his kindred shall return to the children of Israel. He shall take his place as shepherd by strength of the Lord, by the majestic name of the Lord, his God. And they shall dwell securely, for now his greatness shall reach to the ends of the earth. He shall be peace. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God to a town of Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And coming to her, he said, Hail, favored one, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at what was said and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give him the throne of David his father, and he will rule over the house of Jacob forever and of his kingdom there will be no end. But Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I have no relations with a man? And the angel said to her in reply, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age, and this is the sixth month for her who was called barren, for nothing will be impossible for God. Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. In those days, a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that the whole world should be enrolled. So all went to be enrolled, 
each to his own town. And Joseph too went up from Galilee, from the town of Nazareth, to Judea, to the city of David that is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and family of David, to be enrolled with Mary, his betrothed, who was with child. While they were there, the time came for her to have her child, and she gave birth to her firstborn son. She wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. Now there were shepherds in that region living in the fields and keeping the night watch over their flock. The angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were struck with great fear. The angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for behold, I proclaim to you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. For today in the city of David, a Savior has been born for you who is Messiah and Lord and there will be a sign for you. You will find an infant wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was a multitude of the heavenly host with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to those on whom his favor rests. When the angels went away from them to heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go then to Bethlehem to see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went in haste and found Mary and Joseph and the infant lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known the message that had been told to them about this child. All who heard it were amazed by what had been told to them by the shepherds. And Mary kept all these things, reflecting on them in her heart. Then the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen, 
just as it had been told to them. A reading from the beginning of the Holy Gospel according to John. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came to be through him, and without him nothing came to be. What came to be through him was life, and this life was the light of the human race. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. A man named John was sent from God. He came for testimony, to testify to the light so that all might believe through him. He was not the light, but came to testify to the light. The true light, which enlightens everyone, was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world came to be through him. But the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, but his own people did not accept him. But to those who did accept him, he gave power to become children of God. To those who believe in his name, who were born not by natural generation, nor by human choice, nor by a man's decision, but of God. And the word became flesh, and made his dwelling among us, and we saw his glory. The glory as of the Father's only Son, full of grace and truth. Call us to be your witnesses to the ends of the earth. Fill our words with power that we may proclaim your good news and draw all people to you. Amen.
Thank、you